Hey guys, welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. Once again, we'll be exploring a fascinating question involving one of my favorite topics, space. Today's question is, what if the Earth was the only planet? As always, I'll be replying to some of your more clever comments from a previous video at the end of this one. And just a friendly reminder to subscribe, click that bell icon, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I'm your host, Jared Bronstein, and let me know below what you'd think would happen if the Earth was the only planet. We recently did a video, What If One Planet Disappeared From Our Solar System, in which I discussed quite exactly that. What would happen if each one of our planets disappeared from the solar system? Of course, the repercussions range from the end of the world to not much happening, at least here on Earth, depending which planet was removed. Some of the things that happened did happen because there were other planets still involved, which stopped some good or bad things from happening to Earth. But if Earth was the only planet out there, well, that changes everything. As you may or may not know, the solar system works like a well-oiled machine. Every planet does its part to keep things the way they are. Whether that includes Venus's disappearance, making the Earth a little bit darker, or Jupiter no longer holding the asteroid belt in place, all the planets in our solar system definitely have a purpose. And if removing one planet has an effect on the solar system, imagine what removing every planet aside from the Earth would do. And if you can't imagine, then just listen carefully, because I'm about to explain. Now, if it isn't obvious enough, without any other planets in our solar system, the odds of the human race surviving is slim to none. As previously mentioned, each planet in the solar system has a purpose. And whether that purpose affects Earth in a big or small way is irrelevant. Without a single planet, there would be changes. Without any of the planets, aside from Earth of course, well there would most certainly be significant changes. For starters, we don't know where the Earth would end up. The Sun's gravitational pull wouldn't necessarily be stronger, so it's not like we'd get pulled into the Sun. But there is the possibility that the Earth moves closer to the Sun than it already is. And we leave what is known as the habitable zone. This ends up with Earth getting too hot and the human race ceasing to exist because we simply can't stand the scorching hot temperatures. We all die a fiery death. Not a good look. And there's also the possibility the opposite happens. We move further away from the sun, once again no longer in the habitable zone, and the earth gets extremely cold. We're not talking Canadian winter cold, we're talking ice age cold. Then again, what's the difference? All joking aside, we get to the point that we all freeze over and once again, no humans left, no good. And we haven't even gotten to the goods yet. This is what would happen assuming we ended up closer or further away from the sun than we currently are. There's still plenty more that would happen both on earth and in space if there were no other planets it's left. At the start of this video, I mentioned Jupiter holds the asteroid belt in place. It also shields the Earth. Two things that wouldn't happen if Earth was the only planet. So if it's not freezing cold or insanely hot temperatures that do us in, it may very well be the thousands of asteroids that would most likely be crashing into the Earth quite frequently. On top of Jupiter no longer acting as the Earth's shield, all the asteroids that are normally sitting in the asteroid belt would start flying all over the place. The odds that we don't get hit by one or two or a few hundred is slim to none. Of course, there's also the fear that we don't have a backup plan in regards to finding a new home. But then again, this would most likely be the least of our concern, considering how Earth wouldn't be habitable in the first place, and we'd all die relatively quickly. So let's talk about Earth. Of course, the gravitational pull of other planets and the way our solar system works helps keep the Earth rotating a certain way. But if the Earth were to move, everything would change. The Moon wouldn't have the same effect on Earth it currently does, meaning not only would the Earth be much darker at night, but our oceans would also be all out of whack. The Moon's gravitational pull also controls our tides here on Earth, meaning the water wouldn't be moving at all, it'd just sit there. Or would it? We also need to consider that the Earth's rotation would be totally different from what it is now. This would certainly change the way things are on Earth, whether that means our gravity is significantly reduced, or natural disasters such as tsunamis or hurricanes and tornadoes start wreaking havoc. Seasons would also change. We wouldn't have the four seasons we currently have. Of course, the outcome of the Earth would really depend on where it ended up. Now one thing is for sure, without the other planets doing what they've been doing all these years, we would most definitely be in some serious trouble. Thankfully, it seems like all of our planets are staying put, at least that we're aware of. Unless some catastrophic event somehow happens and all of the planets are either destroyed or get pushed out of the solar system, I think we'll be okay. With that being said, I still want to know what you guys think would possibly happen if Earth was the only remaining planet. Would we find a way to survive or is it an immediate death? Let me know below. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video, what if Baby Yoda were real? Grey World said, answer, we will get the physical embodiment of adorable. I can't argue that, you're 100% right, Baby Yoda is like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Forget puppies, forget kids, forget kittens. Baby Baby Yoda, those big eyes, and it's got like a little cute green face. Adorable. It's also like a little teacup size. You can hold it in your arms and your hands. Like, <laughs> humans are so millennial. Baby Yoda said, Great life would be. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, no, you did a good job, Baby Yoda. 
you did a good job. I mean, but you can't even talk. You just say Goo Goo Gaga and stuff. So what do you what do you type in comments for? Nicholas Lindsay said, knowing today's society, he probably would end up in a zoo or carnival as a sideshow attraction. Unfortunately, yeah, you're 100 right, my friend. Um, it'd be like the next Harambe. Like someone would just want to like pet it or touch it or pick it up, and it would just use the force and kill somebody. And then we'd probably kill Baby Yoda and be like, well, I mean, you know. We had to defend the human, but it's like, bro, Harambe was just doing his thing, and someone let a kid fall in the enclosure. What do you think the gorilla's gonna do, man? Anyways, guys, I'm clearly still heated about a meme from 2016 or 2017, however many years ago it was. But it's more than just a meme. We lost a gorilla, guys. An innocent gorilla. Anyways, I digress. Moving on. I've been Jared Bronstein. You guys have been watching LBQ. Make sure to share this video with a friend that enjoys anything space-related. And, of course, drop me some comments down below, letting me know your thoughts on what would happen if... We were the only planet out in space. We'll see you guys in the next video.